Hey everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Truck Battle. This is where I pit two vehicles against each other and you write down in the comments section which one you would pick if you could. So up first, we've got the 2019 Tundra Crew Max 4x4 Limited against the 2019 Tundra Crew Max 4x4 1794 Edition. Which one would you pick? Let's go. Before I start, let me say if you notice anything that I misspeak on or give a fact that I thought was right but needs to be corrected, just write it in the comment section. I can always improve. Now, let's compare the front parts of the trucks. First of all, they're both going to have Toyota Safety Sense, so they're going to have radar here and then the camera up here for lane departure alert, radar cruise control, pre-collision system, and automatic high beams. That's what they have in common. First, the front end of the Limited. It's going to have LED headlights, daytime running lights, and fog lights. Then it's going to have a silver billet style grill here with shiny chrome accents. This one has the Limited package upgrade, so it's going to give you front and rear parking sonar. You can see those here and over here with the black bumper. 1794 is going to have a color keyed front bumper. It's also going to have the shiny chrome billet style grill with all chrome accents. And then this one comes standard with the front and the rear parking sonar, as well as the fog lights and the LED headlights. Now we're gonna compare the sides of the trucks. The Limited has 20 inch machine finished alloy wheels. Very sporty, very classy. And then going over here, the side mirrors, they're heated power outside mirrors. And because this has the Limited package, it also has blind spot monitor on it. You'll notice there are no turn signal indicators in the actual mirrors. We're about to see something different in the next one. 1794 edition has a completely different side profile. It's got 20 inch chrome alloy wheels, very shiny. They definitely are bold and stand out. Then it's got the 1794 badging and then the side view mirrors are going to be heated power outside mirrors. They have blind spot monitor and the turn signal indicators in the mirrors. So that's the difference there. I'm gonna show you those wheels one more time as well. Now, mechanically speaking, both trucks are going to have the same guts. It has soundproofing material underneath the hood. And then the engine, it's a 5.7 liter I-Force engine, V8, dual overhead cam, 32 valves. It has dual independent variable valve timing with intelligence. This is 381 horsepower, 401 foot-pounds of torque. It's a six-speed automatic transmission with sequential shift. The backs of both of these cars are going to be similar because they're both going to have Backup camera, slow moving, back tailgate. The tow capacity for each of these trucks is 8,800 pounds. It comes with the hitch and the four and seven pin connectors. You'll see it has rear parking sonar standard on the 1794. This has a color keyed rear bumper because it's the limited package. And also because it's the limited package, it's gonna have the rear parking sonar. The beds in both of these trucks are gonna be the same. They're five and a half foot in length. There's no option to make it longer. That's what she said. And then we've got a deck rail system here and that can hold the movable cleats that hold 250 pounds each. I'll start by showing the back seat of the 1794. It has its trademark Western style interior with wood grain trim accents. You'll also see the Tundra in Chrome as you step up into the car. You'll also see special Western style 1794 edition mats. And then you'll see the brown ultra suede seats. Let me show you the leg room here. There's tons of it. Plenty of leg room, elbow room, shoulder room, plenty of head room. Plenty of room for three people. Has rear temperature, um, heat and cooling. And then as far as opening the seats, if you wanted to lift them up, just do that to give you a little bit more storage space. Now stepping into the Limited gives you a completely different feel. As you'll see, we're lacking the wood grain and Western style. There's no Tundra accent there as you get up into it. However, you still have leather seats with plenty of room in it. Again, plenty of leg room. If you, this is with the seat all the way back. If you have the seat even halfway, imagine the room you have. You could be six foot anything. So plenty of leg room here and then again to give yourself more storage space or cargo space you can lift this up 
This is the front view of the 1794 interior. You'll see the ultra suede inserts right here, suede, you can see me moving it. And then it's got the brown westerny feel with the wood grain accents. You'll also see the chrome tundra accent as you get into it, the specific 1794 floor mats. And then you'll notice it has memory seats for driver one and driver two. This is auto high beams, part of your Toyota safety sense. And then this button right here puts down the back window. That one right there. Then here, the steering wheel controls are really easy. It's got voice commands, Bluetooth pickup and hang up. This is radio controls here for radar cruise control, lane departure alert. Now we can see the console. Actually, before I do that, I want to show you the power driver seat. It has a power passenger seat with these three controls, even for lumbar support. The driver's side has a leg and knee extender, so it gives you more or less support when you're on long road trips. You can get leg support. Now let's check out that console. 1794 in the house. Big giant storage room. You could store a herd of sheep in here, I reckon. Then we've got three different cup holders. There are door uh, bottle holders, two there, two on the driver's side. And then the JBL sound system with 12 speakers is standard in the 1794 edition. So we've got dual temperature controls here, also with heated seats with three different settings. Then the radio system, it's the engine premium audio with integrated navigation system. It's real easy to use, touch screen, the radio controls right here. We can go to our 70 station. Holla. Reason away. There's the JBL. And then up top, it's got a place where you can store like your cell phone and you won't have to worry about it sliding off. You'll also see the auto dimming rear view mirror with home link for three different settings. And then this is your optional moonroof. You'll also, this is always a question I get a lot is what about the mirrors? Lighted for driver and also for passenger. So everybody gets the same perks. And then I didn't talk about it, but there it is, the wood grain 1794 steering wheel in the house. And now here in complete contrast is the limited. So you'll see not very much wood grain at all. There is a little bit of lighter wood grain, certainly no brown interior, just a totally different feel. This also has lumbar support, just like it does in the 1794. You'll see the gray or beige or whatever, a black interior here, but it's not gonna have the suede inserts. Very subtle wood grain trim here. And then the limited accented storage bin with chrome accents. Again, it's just a completely different feel. You'll notice on the 1794, it has the leg and knee extender. On this one, it does not on the limited. Just a completely different feel of a truck. So still has heated seats, dual temperature controls, has the Entune premium audio with navigation system, and it also has the JBL speakers, but that's because it's been upgraded to the limited package. And then you'll see the similar buttons here, the trailer brake output, multi-information display, Show you a little bit of different information. I do like that it shows dig digitally what your speed is. There you go. And just like on the 1794, it has the home link with garage door openers, same mirrors up top, and then it's got the optional moonroof. There's your limited. Thank you so much for watching. Write down in the comments section which truck you would pick, and I'll see you next time.